Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the number 84 Easy Lube Axle Spindle. This is a great way to replace your damaged or worn out spindle on your trailer or just get a new spindle to fabricate a custom axle for your trailer. It does have a four inch rise or drop depending on which way you have it welded on there. It is a weld on design so pretty simple to get that installed and a really easy way to replace that spindle if it is damaged or worn out. You just cut off the old one and then weld this new one on in place rather than having to replace the whole axle itself which can be pretty cumbersome. So let's take a closer look at this guy and make sure that this is the right fit for your particular application. This spindle can be used with 3,000 or uh, 3,500 pound trailer axles. The actual spindle capacity all on its own is 1,750 pounds since uh, that axle capacity will be for both axles or one for either side. So that's why this one on its own has half the capacity of the axle it can work with. Again, it does have that four inch drop going from the center of the spindle to the center of where it would attach. And then the overall length going from the end of the threads to where it would also be welded on in place, that is about eight inches. As you can see on the end, we'll have a grease cirque. So this is gonna be an easy lube spindle. So you can keep, make sure that everything's nice and lubricated, push the grease on through there, and it's gonna come out on the back behind the seal. So it's gonna keep everything nice and lubricated or back uh, around the seal to keep everything in, inside there. So helps to prevent any kind of wear on the uh, spindle itself and help to make that last a lot longer. It's not a bad idea to replace the bearings, seals, and races for your axle assembly when you replace the spindle. A lot of times if this is damaged, there's a good chance that those other components are damaged as well. To figure out which bearings you'll need to fit onto this, they are listed on the product page here at eTrailer.com. The spindle or um, the bearings, races, and seals are all listed there. And again, it's a good idea to replace those components while you replace this one. It is made out of a sturdy steel construction and also does have the brake flange so you can mount that brake onto the uh, axle spindle as well. That's really about all there is to it for our look at the Easy Lube spindle. One last measurement I do want to give you is the stub here. Measures about two and three quarter, or excuse me, two and three eighths inches from outside edge to outside edge. This kind of insert part is about two inches in diameter. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is going to be the right spindle for you. We do have other options available here at eTrailer.com, so check them out if you're interested, or you can also just pick up those other components that I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching.